Well, 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 folks, it's me again. I was in Iceland there, shopping with my mother, and my phone was gone constantly in my pocket. I got so excited. Apparently, Josh McGuinness has been on the radio calling me poison, etc. Josh, that's water off a duck's back. But you've been on the radio slagging me or whatever. You? You couldn't trap a medicine ball. Your first touch should be your last touch. Composure. You couldn't spell it. Center forward. I think you've slept with one. I was a better player my day. You think cause your big muscly cunt six foot three and you're a bit of a prick in the changing room I heard. It wouldn't be fucking hard to believe right enough. Cause you talk about that park as if you're fucking canting at you fucking banger. Anyway, you work hard and score goals for the team who's paying your wages. Instead of going on West Sound and calling me poison. Josh, get a grip, son. You were at Aberdeen, you were St Mern, they punted you. Now we've got you. You're push! Push! Oh, who else you going to get on the bandwagon, Josh, eh? You want to hear a sub for Northern Ireland, man. How are you even getting into the squads, I don't know. Because you're, you're rank. You just run about like a heedless chicken for 90 minutes and you win the odd heed ball. Anyway, Josh, I think you better get back to your, your art class at Comarnock College because I think you'd make a better pe painter than football player. And I heard Jamie Hamill's a better artist than you, I know, as he's in your same class. How does that sound, eh, Josh? See you tomorrow, big man.